This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Jill Schreffler from Hillsdale's Geyer Elementary School. We have a video from your nominator. Take a look. Congratulations, hooray! You're the winner. Why did I nominate you? Number one, because you're a great teacher. Your classroom is stimulating and lively. Number two, you have a cooperative spirit and professional attitude. You are a joy to work with. Number three is because guys with ties is just plain cool. I'm so impressed with your idea and how you got your husband and his football team to come into your school and provide this amazing program for kids. Teaching the boys how to shake hands, dress appropriately, and providing them with male role models is awesome. Congratulations, Jill. You started out as my colleague, you became my daughter's kindergarten teacher, and now I'm proud to call you my friend. You are so deserving of this award. Congratulations. Thanks, Michigan Lottery. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Jill, what goes through your mind when you, when you see that video? Um, like she said, we go back about 16 years, or no, 13 years, I was her daughter's kindergarten teacher. And then she had my daughters in class, all three of mine. And so we've gotten to know each other pretty well over the years and watch a lot of volleyball games together. And so it means a lot coming from Mindy. She is a great role model and an amazing educator herself. You started something that is very unique and you didn't have to do this, but it's called Guys With Ties. Tell me what it is and why you decided to do this. Um, it actually wasn't an original idea, which they say there are none, right? So um, I became aware of a program in North Canton, Ohio, and they had a Guys With Ties program. And I wanted to learn more about it, so I began emailing the advisor there, and he was sharing a little bit about his club. Um, and the, the motto of it was, look good, feel good, do good. And I love that. And I was like, all right, I think this is something we can do. So I sat down and started writing a grant for our amazing PTO for the funding for the shirts and ties. And um, when I was doing it, my husband, who was a football coach at the Hillsdale College, said, do you think that's something my guys could be a part of? Um, his football players over the years have been volunteering in classrooms. And we've kind of set that up over the years, but this gave them one more way to be involved and give back to the community. And, and, and what is it? To describe a little bit what it is. So the program, uh, any, it's open to any fourth grade boy, which in our building, the fourth graders are the oldest, so the leaders. And if they want to be a part of it, um, they get a shirt and a tie that they wear once a month, the days that we have our meetings, and they learn about being kind and respectful, a good handshake, um, giving back to the community, service, good manners. Um, my husband and I plan the meetings together, and then the guys, he and his football players kind of <laughs> run the show on the day of the meetings. Jill, tell me why you do what you do. You didn't have to do this. And it, you know, there's so much demand for a teacher every single day, national curriculum, statewide curriculum. You go above and beyond. Tell me why. Well, it's, it's not just about reading and writing and math. It's about kids and, and developing people and helping them to become the best they can be. Um, their parents and their teachers you know, these are things that they're doing with them. So just helping to support that and trying to make a difference. Is that why you decided to be a teacher? Yes. Yep. Wanting to make a difference in the lives of, of students and uh, came from a family of educators. So I could say it was in my blood, but 
the passion is there as well. I don't look at it as a job, but more as part of who I am. Tell me what you think makes a good teacher. Um, I think bottom line, you just need to care about kids and do what's best for kids and be willing to work hard. <laughs> well, congratulations Thank so, you much. so much.